Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy Sue the Gamer here, and we are back with some more MLB The Show 21. But before we get started, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, so you get notified whenever I upload new videos, which is multiple times every single day. And leave a like and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And let's get into it. All right. Last time we fucking fractured our forearm, so we had to miss 60 days. So, two months later now, um, early, early mid August. We missed the all-star game and all that shit. But, yeah. And they're still fucking showing this shit. Oh, our, our team. I mean, we, they lost some while we was going. But, I mean, there was like a week there that they like fucking won every single game. Like a week and a half or so. And they've won some other games. So, they're still doing alright, I guess. Um, a lot better than what they have been. I didn't see anything about a possibility of being traded. I was hoping my manager would have gotten back to me at some point, but... Oh, well. What can you do? Let's see what our record is. 57-54. Yeah, we're still... We're above the halfway mark, but not much. So, see. Yeah. So if we can get through more than just one full at bat, I think it was the second at bat where we fucking broke our fucking or fractured our forearm. How hard are you fucking throwing a ball to fracture your fucking forearm? Like for real? I guess if they hit the ball and came back and hit me, but no, he fouled the fucking ball. It's like what the fuck, dude? Has started. Pitch on its way. First of three here on a Friday night as the first pitch is in there for strike one. Uh, boys, we take a look at the Rockies starting play here tonight. They've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and in fact dropping six of their last seven. Yeah, Maddie, this team is yeah, the last struggling recently and then week or so we haven't been doing so good. Lost six of seven. To step up for this team. I'll tell you what, if they're able to score a few early runs off him. And put him on the defensive. This could be a huge momentum swing for this team. Fastball just missed above the zone. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Another 2 2 offering. Now a swing and a miss. There we go. And the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Eric Hosmer comes on with one gone here as he looks at a cold strike one. He'll come in here at 263, 14 homers, and 33 driven in. Two well executed pitches at the knees right there. But I know this hitter's looking for something up. Catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. The main job I'm talking about, baby. One and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do Got farther than what we did last time. When you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Fernando Tatis Jr. is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. One and one the count now. Now here it comes. Fouled away. And just a masterful job of he strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down for San Diego. The Rockies coming up. We've got no score. Second inning set to go, and standing in now, the always dangerous third baseman, Manny Machado. There's a drive high in the air and deep Come on, somebody get it. Ah, oh, of course. Damn. All right. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. To the plate now, Derek Goff. 
as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Wow, great pitch right there, right? Changing speeds. How about that straight changeup? How about that swing? There we go. Oh, yeah. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Padres an early 1 0 lead here in the second. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And he lays oh, out man. in the count two and two. All right. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Fouled off. Oh, and this is nah. missed. Four Hell yeah. strikeouts already, and that's out number two. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Into the box now, that Tucker is, Barnhart. The and Tucker. it's fouled away. Barnhart. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. And they go right after him here as he swings and misses. Strike two. Hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Another 0 2 coming. Mayan. All right. There we go. All set for the start of the inning, and Jurickson Profar will be the next to bat. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Profar, a switch hitter that stands in at an even six feet tall. This is his tenth season at the major league level, so almost a decade. All right, all right. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Ready with another 0-2. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Hell yeah. Six of them already, and there's one gone in the inning. Next to the plate for the Padres, Blake Snell. Now here's the first offering. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. Bases are empty. One man out. Fouled away. And another foul ball. Here's another 0-2. Very weakly on the ground. The next 0 2 is a swing and a miss. That strike. There three. we go. Hell yeah. So one more. Will Myers, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Into the corner and slicing foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Ah, and he takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Hit in the air down the right field line. That's up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But this will land untouched. Bases are empty here with two men out. And there we go. His eighth punch out of the ball game, and that Hell yeah. the inning. Padres down in order, but they hold a one nothing lead. Yeah, up to bat. One out. First pitch on the way. Oh, I wanted a fucking swing at that. Should have fucking let that go for a ball. Man, all right, we're out. We scored twice that fucking inning though. That's not bad. We're back up by one. 
pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive. Hell yeah. On, and if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. So he couldn't get the bat off the shoulders that time. Eric Hosmer becomes the first out of the inning. Fernando Tatis Jr. stands in as he can't connect here, 0-1. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order, and we just saw three in a row. Behind 0-2 now. Fouled off. Another 0 2 home. Again, he sends it out of play. The 0 2 once more. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strike. Hell yeah. That's 10 strikeouts for him now. Double digits. What I'm talking about. More before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Manny Machado will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Pitching a little bit backwards in this situation. I'd expect a hitter to be sitting off speed. A ball and a strike now to Machado. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. He's one pitch away from striking out the side, but even more than that, to throw a donut up after your offense put up some runs, I can't tell you what that means to the boys in the dugout. And yet another Hell yeah. out here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Three up, three down for San Diego. Back in the fucking hit, two outs, runner on first. Let's see if we can play a little smarter this go around. From the stretch. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Hit sharply on the ground. Damn. Machado has it. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Rocky nah. strand one. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And coming forward, the rookie outfielder, Derek Goff. In there, no balls and a strike. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. And a breaking ball is bounced out towards second. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So bases are empty with one gun. And that brings up Trent Grisham. And it's fouled away. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. The bouncer to the left side. Baez fields it cleanly. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Now nah. we've got two hits on us. He'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. One and one to Tucker Barnhart. Well, these guys haven't had too many opportunities yet to test the running game in this one, so they could decide to put a man in motion right here. Luis Camposano will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. Grisham, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. And he fouls this one off. Maya. All right. This pitch is popped up. Simeon calls for it. But it's the pitcher that makes the play. And that's the second out of the inning. Now at the plate, Jerickson Profar struck out in his first at bat. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Fifth inning. Two to one our score. Good change up and it's 0-2. No, oh, come on, man. You gotta love that as a fucking best strike. No, it's 50-50, but find a way to take advantage of the count. I wanted that strike. Hey, usually the second time through the order you start seeing an incorporation of some more off. There we go. Right there as he strikes out and that ends the inning. 
digging in now for San Diego. Blake Snell. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, let's see if he can work a walk, maybe a knock, ground ball with eyes, something. Catch a gap to get this offense going. Two hits as a team can start demoralizing your confidence. But if he can get on and start some traffic in motion, he might have something. First pitch coming. Here it is. Will Myers is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and oh, yeah. behind 0 and 2 now. Here's a pop up now, and no one will get this one. Now another 0 2. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Fouled off. All right. Let's see if he'll chase it. He'll swing. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead. Hey, have an A B. Send it out a little bit further. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. A one and two count to Will Myers. Ah. It's a great job to lay ah, so you don't want to fucking swing too much. Right it's the toughest pitch. It was my there we go. Of. I was always sitting fastball middle away, and when that slider came out, boy, did lucky number thirteen. For a long time. So it was a strikeout looking there. Will Myers is sent packing for out number two no in the sixth. No, Eric Hosmer no, is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing and one. He's zero for two in the ball game so far. Swings through it for strike number two. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. The 0-2 once more. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder giving chase. He's there. There we go. Oh yeah. Retire the side. Leori Garcia will be oh, they pulled me. The here. Why? Well, nah. At least we held on to the fucking uh so, lead. To even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here, played their game, and put the losing streak behind it, like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. Five to one. Hell yeah. Alright, and that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell so you get notified whenever I upload new videos, which is multiple times every single day. And leave a like and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Until next time, peace out, Yilly. Everybody love everybody.